Hi, I'm Bob Kovacs, and this is my 2014 Mazda 3. In this video, I'm going to replace a coil pack in the engine. It's underneath a cover on top of the engine. It's not hard to do, but there are a couple of steps. Let's get started. The parts you need to get at are underneath this cover, and the cover is held in place by only four press fittings. There's no bolts or screws or nuts. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lift this off, and it snaps right off. To do the job, you'll need an eight millimeter socket, an extension, it can be a short extension, this one is longer than needed, and a ratchet. With the cover off, you can see the four coil packs. Of course, underneath each of these coil packs is a spark plug, and each coil pack is held in with a single bolt. This is the coil pack right here, and the first step is to get this connector off. Now you see there's these two lines in here, now, I can get my thumb to press those down and pull the connector off, but that's not easy for me to show you on camera. So I'm going to use the screwdriver to push down on those two, and then I can pull the connector off like that. But in actuality, I can just get my thumb in there, push down, and pull the connector off in one smooth motion. Get your socket on the bolt. Again, this is an 8 millimeter bolt, and take it off. It shouldn't be on there too hard. It should be on snug, but not too snug. Unscrew it the rest of the way with your fingers. And now the coil pack comes right out. And this is what the coil pack looks like. Of course, the bottom end of it goes over the spark plug, which is still down in this well. But this is what the coil pack looks like. To install the new coil pack, simply put it in the well and press it over the spark plug. Push it down good. Get the bolt in place. Always finger tighten the bolt first. I'm going to go ahead and finger tighten it like this. That's easier. Now that it's finger tightened, I'll finish the job with the ratchet. And of course, don't forget to put the connector on it. Make sure the connector's in good. The only thing remaining is to take the engine cover and press it back in place. It's easy to line up with the oil filler and the dipstick. You just put it over those and simply press it in until it snaps in place. And that's all there is to replacing a coil pack. Now I only did one. Uh, yours may not be that one. You may have a different one that you need to replace. But once you've seen how one is done, the other three are exactly the same way. Hey everybody, I'm Bob Kovacs. Thanks for watching. Thank you.